Hey everybody, this is Ben here at That Cologne Guy coming at you with another episode. Happy Friday the 13th. Uh, today is March, Friday the 13th, of course, and so we have to do this in style. What I'd like to do is talk about the movie series, of course, which is Friday the 13th, uh, in which uh, Jason Voorhees, uh, the man with the hockey mask, uh, goes around with a machete, uh, inflicting violence and so uh, if you like scary movies you will know him uh, and if you don't know the name you know him as the guy with the, the hockey mask so uh, started I think the first one came out in 1980 uh, uh, and a, little, a lot of people don't know that um, and for in fact he was not the killer uh, in the first one I won't give a spoiler but uh, you will have to watch that to uh, uh, find out who is uh, and then there have been uh, 11 more after that they've done 12 and I'm and I'm assuming they're gonna end by making making a 13th event eventually just so they can end with uh, 13 of Friday the 13th. So what I wanted to do in today's episode is do something a little bit different, a little tongue in cheek perhaps, uh, and I wanted to review what I think Jason Voorhees would be wearing today on Friday the 13th. So you have to understand if you haven't seen these movies, this is a man wielding a machete, of course, uh, in a hockey mask in the woods and... Uh, I think I think I've really nailed it. Just out of curiosity, though, you know what I did? I went to Fred Rantica and I searched by notes. If you've ever done that, it's really fun, especially if you like certain notes. Um, and I actually put three classifications of notes in. And what it does is, the more notes you put in, obviously, um, the the fewer options they have. So you can get real specific. So if you like cinnamon or if you like juniper berries or whatever, you can put in many notes, and you'll actually get it down to, um, you know, uh, very very few fragrances that you could uh, buy. So uh, I actually just put in wood, leather, and civet. So a very strong animalic note um, and very, 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 right, very, um, it's very 70s animalic uh, cat pee type of note. And so uh, when I, when I thought of, he's out in the woods, he's wearing leather, uh, and of course he doesn't shower, so he smells quite animalic. And actually, you know what happened? I got one. I got one fragrance. So my honorable mention, I, I can't speak to it because I don't have it, but my honorable mention is one called Tartar. I'm going to read it so I get it right, and I'll put it down there uh, when I edit the video. It is Tartar Leather Abdus Salam Atars Perfumes for Men. That's that's quite a tongue twister there. Uh, so I'm assuming it's, it's an Arabic fragrance, but I know nothing about it. But I thought it was interesting that just by putting three notes that I thought of, I immediately whittle it down to one. So, you know, perhaps it's destiny, but we're going to consider that the honorable mention. I'm going to speak to one that I actually did have, uh, which is none other than the 2001 Oriental Spicy uh, Lalique Equus. So Equus mean is Latin for horse. Uh, it is E-Q-U-U-S. Uh, it means a horse. And of course, you can see, of course, a, a horse, of course, you can see that the horse is embossed in the bottle. La Ligue has such beautiful bottles usually. Uh, this is a 50 milliliter, I think, if I'm not right. It's a 2.5, 75 milliliter, excuse me, 2.5 US uh, fluid ounce. And this one is not a spray. This one was an aftershave. Um, you can see here, I cleaned it up a little bit, but um, I gave it to my daughter. My daughter now uses it to make uh, to make slime, et cetera, et cetera. So that's why it's kind of wet. Um, but I have used the entire bottle. And um, when I thought of what Jason Voorhees would wear, this one is my choice. And I'll tell you why. This is clearly pet store in a bottle. This smells exactly like a hamster cage. Uh, it's vetiver, woody notes, and musk. Okay, vetiver, woody notes, uh, sequoia was the one that people mentioned, but I, I can't speak to what specifically that smells like, but um, woody notes in general, uh, vetiver and, and musk, no civet, but musk. And I have to tell you, I, I celebrated actually when I got rid of this thing on the last day that I used this for aftershave. But here's here's what's interesting about this. It's it's a pet store in a bottle. I called it the hamster cage aftershave. To me, it smells exactly. We, we had a we had a hamster uh, and uh, sadly she passed on. Uh, but um, when we had the hamster, all I could think of was her cage smells exactly like this. In fact, I bet she would have been, you know, attracted to uh, 
La Ligue Equus Por Homme. So uh, anyway, uh, this is a hamster cage, and this would definitely smell like uh, Jason Voorhees. So Jason, uh, this is in honor of him. Uh, Friday the 13th, what would Jason Voorhees wear? It would definitely be La Ligue uh, Equus uh, and but you might be thinking, well, uh, you celebrated it. You really hate this thing. Here's here's what I can't figure out about this. I got a lot of compliments on this one. You know, I loved um, He Would. Uh, that was another fragrance that I had that was similar, and I really, really, really enjoyed that one. And uh, by D squared and. I never got one uh, compliment, and on this one, I couldn't wait to get rid of it, and yet I got many unsolicited compliments on this thing, so I can't figure out what's going on there. Um, maybe it's the, 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 the leather, the man who's been out in the stables working, taming horses all day, coming in, back to the house, rugged. I have no idea. Uh, I have no idea, but uh, I can only tell you that... Um, uh, that it it definitely garnered compliments, which really surprised me. Uh, I was super happy when I got rid of this. And uh, uh, Jason, this is for you. So projection was quite good because uh, I got many unsolicited compliments, and I would say that it stayed about the um, elbow length uh, from me, uh, and uh, which is very very good for an aftershave. I was very happy with the projection, and the longevity was a solid four to six, which is very very good for an aftershave. I would imagine the actual cologne itself was even longer, but um, four to six is what I got, which was pretty good for for an aftershave. So uh, happy with that. Now the event, uh, well. I have no idea, and the reason why I have no idea is because I don't like it. Uh, yet I got all these compliments, so um, I guess, I guess an evening night out because uh, these compliments were by women. So it must be the it must be the the, the rugged nature of this fragrance that uh, blended with my skin so well, uh, and uh, so I would say uh, romantic. I would say I would not choose this as an office scent, and if I had to choose, I would say this would be uh, an evening scent. Um, a romantic night out, although I'm being hypocritical because I wouldn't choose this uh, for that. So I guess I'll say if you have La Ligue Equus and you like it, uh, choose it for the night. Um, age group, I mean, I guess, I guess what, 35 and up on this? Uh, it is quite masculine. There's no unisex, uh, nothing really unisex about it. Um, I would imagine you would you would see most mostly guys wearing this. And again, it's I think it's for the target audience is for the the woman who who likes her man to smell really really rugged. This is kind of the antithesis to uh, it's a 2001 release. There's nothing 70s about it, but this is kind of the antithesis to the Aqua di Gio, uh, L'Odisse by Simiaki kind of 90s freshies. So uh, you know. If, if for for the for the women out there that want their men to smell ultra ultra rugged, uh, this would be uh, a hit. Uh, so as far as age group, I guess I would say uh, probably thirty five and up. Uh, okay, so uh, there you have it. Uh, season. I would say that I enjoyed wearing it in the fall. So if there's any, that's another reason why I would give it a two out of five uh, rating is because I did uh, wear this uh, mostly in the fall, uh, and I did enjoy that. So uh, fall and spring clearly, and uh, and there you have it. Okay, so of course I can't put on uh, the, I can't spray it, and I have none left to put on me. But I at least wanted to show you this because we needed to review one that I don't care for. Um, I'm going to give this, I would, if I could spray it, I would give it a 2 out of 5. Uh, and you might say, well, if you don't like it, why why even a 2? Um, here, here's the thing. I have to respect that it did garner compliments. So maybe it blended well with my skin. So uh, for that reason, I would give it a 1, but I, I'm going to bump it up to a 2. Uh, 2 out of 5 sprays is what I would do. So we'll figuratively go boom, boom on, uh, for La Ligue Equus. And... Uh, and, and the bottle. The bottle is very pretty. I like the bottle, and I ha I'd have to go two out of five, which means uh, I didn't trade it off, but I certainly won't be getting uh, another bottle. So um, if I ever were gifted another bottle, I would indeed send it along to Mr. Voorhees. So there you have it. Uh, Friday the 13th, um, Equus by La Ligue, 2001 release. Uh, a lot of to me to me it's more vetiver which I actually like but it's the combination of the musk the vetiver and the woody notes uh, that's really going to give you yep it, folks it's hamster cage in a bottle uh, if you have a hamster you know exactly what this one smells like uh, so there you have it uh, another review on the boards I uh, wanted to say real quick 
I'm, I'm, I really appreciate uh, the all the subscribers, the recent subscribers. I've gotten a few more uh, since the last uh, episode, so I want to say welcome aboard to you. Thank you so much. And welcome to the Clone Crew. I also have an update for my channel, which is um, I'm happily I'm I'm happy to report uh, that I'm now going to a new uh, system, uh, starting with the next episode where I have a new camera and I have two, not one, but two new microphones that I will be trying out. And I'm going to improve the audio and uh, and I'm going to improve the lighting as well. So uh, I really appreciate your patience on this, and uh, 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 we are uh, moving on up as it were. So uh, uh, have a wonderful weekend. Uh, for those of you who are watching this today, always remember, not just Happy Friday, Happy Friday the 13th. And without further ado, always remember folks, fragrance marks the celebration of today. Take care.